Hey guys, Blessing here and how are you all doing? So this is to let you all know that Fancy Achalonu that you see right here in this video has come back to apologize to Alex Okubo for breaking their engagement and cancelling their wedding. <laughs> So I'm sure you guys still remember this engagement ceremony that sent the internet a gog last year 2021 when Alex Okubo announced that he was off the market. He did that with this post that says, I asked the love of my life, Fancy Acholono, to marry me. Everybody was very happy for them. They were congratulating them. And barely three months later, Fancy dropped this bombshell on social media. And it reads, Hey guys, I'm writing to inform you all officially that I have ended my relationship, engagement, and I have called off the wedding with Alex Ekubo. I am aware that this may be a shock to many people. I made the best decision for myself because it is important that everyone finds their happiness and live in their truth. At this time, my family and I ask for you all to please respect our privacy. Thank you so much. Now, when this happened, everybody started to speculate like what could have led to a woman breaking off her own upcoming wedding. Her wedding was just two months around the corner and she just walked away. All the plans had been made. The hall was known, the date was set, the drinks were ordered, the cake, the dress, everything was in place. The invitations were already sent out and this woman just called it off. People started to beg her, families, friends, colleagues, everybody reached out to her she was adamant she said no and they asked her why she couldn't even tell the reason she didn't want to be with alex anymore and then people started to speculate that he was homosexual that she found out allegedly that he was laying or seeing other men and that she couldn't stand it that really affected his image in nigeria and you know that homosexuality in nigeria is such a huge taboo that even carries a prison sentence of up to 14 years if caught in the act so it was a very tense period also for alex ekubo he tried everything within his power to you know save his relationship get her back she was just adamant she was insistent on the fact that she was not going back but eventually he moved on you know he gathered himself put himself together he continued working he's an actor by the way in case some of you don't know you know who this guy is he's a top actor women love him because of his good looks obviously so he just you know he started to invest his money more wisely he bagged a doctorate degree he just put his life together again and a year and three months down the line i'm talking just some days back this lady takes to social media again to tell Alex that he still has her love or something like that. Let me just read her post for you guys. Her post says, like our shirt says, nothing makes sense when we are apart. Alex Okubo, you still have my heart. I miss you. I love you. And I'm truly sorry for all the hurt and pain you and your family went through with a breakup. My actions in how I handled things was out of my character. I should have controlled my emotions and not been so overreactive. I said too much. I did too much. Please forgive me. I have learned my lesson on how to handle situations better. I haven't expressed myself properly. I'm not afraid to be vulnerable and say you, your family and friends still mean the world to me. Losing you has felt like grief. Love heals. Felix forever. And when I read this, I was like, are you for real? Look, I do understand these two people were together for five years. They had a relationship. They had an upcoming wedding. Yeah. But for her to have decided to let it all go, I think it's just weak and poor for her to now come back a year later to want to grab back what she dumped. Like, am I communicating? You are saying now you love him and you are using or 
putting up the picture you have deleted before. I mean, they already did their pre-wedding shoot. They did everything. This lady went ahead and deleted all these pictures from her social media. And now she is putting up the same picture saying nothing makes sense when we are apart. Like this is just trying to take advantage of every thing you can take advantage of. Now she's talking about she loves him. So for me, it's just like a year has passed. She has been on social media trying to show like, oh, I'm happy and all of that. Whereas she hasn't been happy. Maybe she couldn't even move on to another guy. And now she's back to claim him back. What if he has found himself someone else? You don't just walk out on people when you want to. And then walk back in when things are not going well for you. For me, that is just a sign of a user. This woman was begged. For me, I don't have a problem with her decision to leave. If Alex cheated on her and she felt like, no, if you can cheat on me before our wedding, I don't want to be with you. By all means, if that's what she stands on, if those are her principles, they should be respected. But don't then come back. You need to continue to stick to those principles. You cannot shamelessly come back and want to continue that same relationship you refused to accept despite all the pleadings from everybody. And you doing this now, wanting to beg him back or take him back, there is no guarantee that he's not going to cheat on you again. It would have been better if you had accepted that apology when he wronged you and continued with the wedding plans. Maybe he would have really turned a new leaf, but you refused him then and now you want to come back. How are you sure he's really going to be a changed man now? My opinion in this matter is that Alex Okubo, he can go ahead and just forgive her, accept her apology, but I would not suggest for him to take her back. She doesn't also strike me like a woman who really wants to just get married really and settle down. A woman who wants to bring her matters to social media. She seems immature to me. You have a problem with your man. You're coming to social media every other time to explain. You want to ask for forgiveness. You're coming to social media to apologize to him. Anyway, after she put up the post, so many people had so many different reactions. And I want to read some of the comments she got for you guys. This one says, I don't understand. What if he's in a serious relationship at the moment? Can you imagine? I actually hope that he is in a serious relationship. Let her also move on. Another one says, how do you all do this? You hurt someone, then ask for forgiveness and expect everything to just be fine. Who does that? They are just people like that. It's their own. They know. It's how they feel that they focus on, they concentrate on. They don't consider how the other one is feeling. When she was in that mood she was in, that everybody was begging her, she was feeling on top of the world and she put her own emotions and feelings first and above every other person's feelings. She didn't even consider how he was feeling at the time. But now that she is satisfied all her anger and her sadness and sorrow and whatever she might have been feeling at the time have all subsided. Now she wants to come back and say, okay, I'm sorry. And now what do you want the other one to do? To jump on you again and go and repropose or start wedding plans all over again. Now, another comment says, I have tried other men. They are not as good as you. Can you take me back? That's just it. Like, um, this commenter says, Explain the post well, my dear. Do you want forgiveness or you want relationship? Say it with your full chest. What I think she wants is relationship. I mean, she just said she loves him. And she still put the hashtag they used for their wedding preparation, the phallex forever. She's still trying to put up or bring back everything she already abandoned. Every single element of your wedding plan that you already desecrated, you want to reawaken it. Life doesn't just go like that. Things don't just happen because you want them to happen your way all the time. Now, this next comment that I'm going to read says it all. The comment says, tendering an apology doesn't necessarily mean you deserve 
to be forgiving. The comments only expose the naivety of most Nigerians. This is someone's life, not some sheep from a reality TV show. Alex endured being smeared after a year of your silly leave your truth tirade and he never even responded in kind. You said he was gay. Well, to be honest, I don't think she directly said he was gay, but yeah, it, it was implied. Um, you said he was gay. You dragged his family in the mud. Now you're coming back with your tail between your legs asking for forgiveness simply because you miss him and possibly can't live with your guilt. If there is anything positive to take out of this apology, it's that Alex Ekubo will henceforth be free from the smears that came from your moronic outburst. And this would serve as a disclaimer for what it's worth. Forgiving you or not is up to him, and I hope he does for his own sanity, but that he also dines with you with a very long spoon. I added the very, very <laughs> long spoon. No one deserves what you did to him, and as a result, I hope he moves on and finds happiness elsewhere. I completely agree with this commenter because this lady... What is the guarantee that she's not going to run back next year to cry about something else on social media about her husband or her partner? She just seems very volatile in my opinion. Alex just needs to fall off again and do something wrong and she's not going to stay. This is not the character of a keeper. This is not someone that will just stand with you no matter what especially when you've begged and begged the entire world begged her she insisted she wasn't coming back and now coming back a year later when the man already started to manage to put his life together now let's move on to the next comment okay this message says fancy zukwani k in alex voice i pray he doesn't forgive you my dear you don't have respect and you lack decorum what the F were you thinking when you gave him a global embarrassment? Alex and his friends have been rumored gay for a while before he even made you public. And you, his supposed fiancé, the only person that was meant to protect him and his image, shredded it to pieces. Then the person said certain things in Igbo language that I would rather not translate in this video. <laughs> this one says, self-love, don't tire this one. Another comment says, most ladies don't seem to value what they have till it's gone. And by the time they realize what's happening, it's gone entirely and no going back anymore. The street is totally dry out there, to be honest. So before you hurt a dear loved one, just check out and reason the consequences as well good advice the next one says if alex like make no learn from waiting do cristiano ronaldo for manchester united please if you guys know what uh happened to ronaldo you guys should drop it in the comments for the football lovers here another one said you subjected him to online trolls and insinuations we watched our funny alex become quiet for a while did you even bother to know what kind of pain and humiliation he went through he healed himself and now you want him back just like that i hate when people think i'm sorry should fix everything a very manipulative behavior i agree with that one this one says after hurting breaking and embarrassing the young man you they craze <laughs> another one says when you break up with someone you don't go online and address the masses do you understand this one says oh well you asked him to learn to live his truth you truly embarrassed him now you feel he's doing better without you you want to creep your way back into his life uh -uh, not gonna happen another commenter says i'm thinking alex told her to apologize publicly if he would take her back as she was the one that came online to announce the program and that is actually possible a lot of people are saying they are already back together that they are in a relationship again and that he just wanted to clear the air formally publicly for her to just come out there and do the right thing well we don't know that's very possible um this commenter says alex will forgive you but i want him not to take you back you lost a good guy you embarrassed him on social media now men don't cast you come no say you love him day that your america been a uk fine man no if easy do you understand <laughs> another one says you post everything on social media why most situations are better handled offline this post is totally irrelevant to be honest like 
that is why I just don't see wife material in her. I see all these ladies who live for the gram, if you know what I mean. So you guys, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. Do you think Alex should take her back? Yes or no? Just type yes or no. And what do you think about her behavior on social media? And go ahead and feel free, drop all of your suggestions, your opinions, your comments, your questions, everything down below. I want to invite you right now to go ahead and share this video for other people to also enjoy it as much as I believe you have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching it on YouTube but if you're watching it on Facebook go ahead and like and follow this page so that whenever I upload a new video like this one you will be one of the first people to get a notification to watch. Thank you once again for being here. I remain blessing on your other analysts and I will catch you all on my next one. Mm -hmm.